Hello, Mr. Jack. Happy to meet you, Samuel. Thank you for being here today. How old, how old were you when you started the pizza business? Uh, I had been in four different career fields in my life. After I got out of college, I was an officer in the Air Force during the Korean War. Then uh, Laura and I spent some time as school teachers. And then I spent uh, quite a few years with uh, Southwestern Bell Telephone Company and their management program. I was, I was uh, pretty mature, 40 years of age when I started. And if you have another question on that, I'm in my 87th year right now, so I've been doing this 47 years. Mr. Richmond, I'm Sophia from Adventure Crew 285. It's nice to meet you, <laughs> it's good Sophia. Sophia. It's good to see you. Miss Laura, you both are life partners and business partners. What does that mean to you? It means to me that you want to make things most comfortable for your partner. I, I wish that, that more married couples could be involved as much as Laura and I are in all of our activities. Why did you help out kids like me? Laura and I have always been uh, sharing and giving and uh, and in the spirit of, of the Scout, uh, you know in the Scout Oath they have a they have a, a couple lines. One of them says, uh, I do my best to do my duty to God and to my country and to help other people at all times. And um, that fit very much with our, um, uh, our spiritual uh, desires too. And so this worked out so well. So that's how we got on this uh, track of having a foundation we set up to do this. The foundation is the Wade Richmond Foundation. Laura and I had, have four boys, but one was taken from us at the age of 17 when he was a senior at Lee High School. And he was very much like you. He was very giving, uh, marvelous young man who was an idealist. And uh, among the uh, very bitter, tragic loss, we thought, uh, what a loss it is to this world if this young man is gone. So we put this foundation up as the Wade Richmond Foundation to help him participate, and it made us feel better too. Why should the community support or become involved with a youth leadership program like scouting? Well, scouting here is very significant in that it has such a strong history. Not only the significance of scouting is, is strong, but the organization here. I believe the Alamo Area Council, I believe probably is the best council in America. Did scouting help you do good pieces? You betcha. You betcha. And that, that's a good question. You have good questions. <laughs> when I came into scouting, I had a um, it was an outstanding troop, but it was a championship group mainly because of the man who was our leader. Our scoutmaster was Earl Peel. Uh, his outstanding leadership and organization skills got my deep respect and appreciation on how an operation should be run to be successful. So uh, Earl Peel helped a lot make uh, Pizza de San Antonio a success. What do you think about the Scout motto, do a good turn daily? Never grow tired of doing what is right. So I think doing a good turn daily is a very sound and real objective. Wade Richmond Foundation strives to give energy and help to those angels among us who are actively caring for such neighbors. How do you feel about being recipients for the Good Scout Award? Odd. Not O D D A W E D. Ah. I humbly accept this honor and uh, think I'm way out of my class, but I'm. We're truly honored to, to have this this honor. Thank you. What's your favorite pizza? My favorite pizza? Uh, I would say roughly that 65, two-thirds of our pizzas we sell are pepperoni. And that's my favorite with jalapeno on it. 